Dear students, welcome to the sixth session of question paper discussion of the subject Renewable Energy Sources. Today, I'm going to discuss remaining part of the question paper of module two. First of all, I would like to share the screen. I hope the screen is visible to everybody. Okay, we will continue the session. So let, let me show you the previous year question paper that has happened in the year of 2019. So let's see the, read the question first. Uh, with a neat sketch, question number 3A, with a neat sketch, discuss the operation of solar flat plate air and liquid collectors. 4 plus 4, that is equal to 8 marks. How to answer this? I'll let you know. Initially, what you're supposed to do is kindly provide an introduction about flat plate collectors. So how does it operate? Mention this phenomenon, greenhouse uh, effect, and uh, what are the uses? What could be the temperature? Uh, so what kind of flat, flat plate collector you are going to employ? This introduction you can give at the beginning. Later on, uh, one diagram you can draw regarding the flat plate collectors. So importance of placing, uh, you got to mention about the working fluid, uh, then absorber, insulation, all the many things you have to mention. Which the, whichever the diagram is uh, convenient for you, please carry forward. Now you have to mention about the components, like in brief. Now you have to explain about the components, uh, like a classification. One is flat plate air collectors. Here, the main point which you are supposed to mention is air is used as a heat transparent medium. It is used for heat spacing. Later on, you have to mention the diagram. See, here you can see the air as a heat transfer medium. You have to mention the layers. Uh, then you have to mention about the uh, uh, glazing. Okay, why glazing is required. For the heat transfer, you are going to use the fin. Then there is a plate which increases the surface area. Then you have to mention the insulation. Uh, diagram is very important. If you draw all the things, obviously, uh, nobody can stop you. Nobody can block you for giving the marks. Another thing is uh, flat plate liquid collectors. Here, the medium. What is the medium used? What is the fluid? This is your working fluid. Okay. This is your working fluid. Here, you can see the uh, working fluid here. The fluid ducts, the fluid pipe, we can call it as a pipe also. There is a movement of fluid pipe. Now, uh, air. Uh, so here, the liquid, liquid you are going to use. See what, uh, like uh, liquid you are going to use. It is mainly used in the cooker, solar cooker. Okay. So, uh, high temperature application, uh, this type of material is suitable for the high temperature, heavy temperature, high temperature is required. Okay. So, this is regarding the uh, answer for uh, those particular questions. Let me come back to the discussion. Okay. I hope you can manage with the eight marks. Now, uh, explain the advantages of solar pond. Discuss the operation of solar pond with the neat diagram. I have already discussed the same topic. I request you to plot this diagram. So, uh, it is mainly used for the heat storage. Okay. Uh, apart from that, you can produce electricity as well by using these segments. So, in that, the different layers are available. Low salt concentrated cool water, salt gradient layers, high salt content uh, hot brine solution. These are the different layers. Then you have to mention about why solar pond is required. Okay. And mention the advantages. I have, theoretically, I have explained here, harvesting solar energy. You can, advantages, you can produce both steam as well as electricity, uh, low cost technology. And uh, you can uh, store, make different layers to store the water. And uh, uh, wherever you want to, different layers, different layers you can create. And according to that, you can produce the temperature. That's advantage. Fine. So let me move on to another uh, question Question related to module two. Uh, so please check it up. Uh, discuss the uh, solar space heating and the solar cookers for the uh, working. Okay. Uh, like uh, explain solar uh, space heating, four marks, and the solar cookers will be getting another four marks. Fine. Let me explain that. First, you can talk about the solar cooker. Uh, we, we require a box with a glass cover. See, box with a glass cover is required. Uh, then a uh, box is lined with this suitable insulation uh, to prevent the heat losses and uh, maintain the temperature. Uh, then entire setup is kept in a pot. The pot is with a black pen. Why? Because you might have heard about the black body radiation, right? Same principle is applied over the cooking time is uh, com slower compared to the conventional practices. Uh, now, uh, there are different type principles, so concentrating sunlight, covering into heat, uh, trapping heat, greenhouse effect. These are the different principles involved in the cooker. So I request you to uh, mark this point in your answer book. 
Also, if you can draw some diagrams, it will be really great. There are different types are available like uh, solar uh, cooking boxes, reflector cooker, solar steam and convection. These are the different types okay, you can mention. Advantages, you can save the uh, fuel, wood, etc. Clean and hygienic food you are able to deliver, you are able to receive and the saving of cost money, uh, then uh, save and uh, effort. When it comes to the drawback, only good weather is required for the production of uh, like uh, better foods and uh, like uh, time is uh, more 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 important factor here but like boiling roasting grilling is not at all possible a person should keep on observing uh, cooking outside because sometimes temperature is different sometimes temperature will be varying so at that time somebody has to keep on serve, uh, doing the surveillance that's another setback and uh, it's not at all affordable especially for the office people and all it is not at all a viable solution now question number four eh? Uh, types of solar cell material silicon it is the solar cell is made up of the silicon it's a semiconductor material there are different types of solar cell material polycrystalline uh, monocrystalline uh, then amorphous thin film technology you have to elaborate in brief fine uh, then efficiency can be compared which is having the highest efficiency which is having the least efficiency i already shared kindly watch my previous videos you will be getting uh, then discuss the various type of applications of solar cell system. You know, we have already discussed grid connector system, standalone application, uh, telecom application, uh, like uh, also you, you might have heard about the thermal, various thermal application. Okay, all the things you can explain. Okay, uh, see, solar cell system. Solar cell, you don't uh, mention about the thermal system. Mention about the photovoltaic only, various type of photovoltaic application. Uh, then explain the IV characteristics of a solar cell. Discuss the efficiency of the solar cell. It is having uh, high weightage, that is 8 marks. Draw the IV characteristics. Say that IV characteristics is a nonlinear curve, plotting of current and voltage. Then uh, how to plot the circuit diagram. If you want, I will show you once again. Okay. So uh, the material I already mentioned you. Okay. So kindly go through this topic. Pause the video if you want. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you want to plot IV characteristics, the circuit diagram is essential. Please draw the circuit diagram. Apart from that, you have to draw the curve. In that, you can determine ISE. ISE means short circuit current. VOC means open circuit voltage. P max means that point corresponding to maximum power. These parameters can be determined from the IV curve. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, you can define what is ISC, short circuit current, what is open circuit voltage. Okay, those things can be determined. These are the performance parameters of solar cells. So, these are the important question uh, which, uh, which is asked in the year of 2019. It's applicable for 17 scheme. But uh, these kind of questions also can appear for your question paper. No need to worry about that. Uh, now, let's move on to uh, another scheme, question paper of another scheme. Okay, so... Uh, see, these are the different type of questions. Like with an ease case, discuss the important parts of flat plate collector. Discuss the material aspects individually. Very simple. Uh, you have to explain what is flat plate collector. It's a commonly used one. Use the greenhouse uh, effect. Uh, the temperature can be less than, should be less than, that uh, temperature application is less than 120 degrees. The temperature requirement is less than 120 degrees Celsius. Go ahead with the flat plate collectors. Uh, non, it's a non concentration type. These are the points you can give it as an introduction. Uh, later, you can explain the material aspects, like uh, draw the diagram, uh, explain what is glazing, uh, the detailed explanation I have given, uh, glazing, uh, then what do you mean by uh, fluid outlet, uh, then absorber, insulation, uh, fluid inlet, because fluid is required. Either it can be like uh, air or liquid, okay? Uh, then glazing means it absorbs the temperature, okay, and prevent the losses. And uh, insulation, glazing means it is made up of with a glass with a high refractive index. And insulation, we are providing the insulation to preserve the temperature. Fine. So there are different types of uh, uh, flat field characters are available, air based as well as uh, the water based, liquid based. Fine. So you can elaborate in detail. So uh, if you want, you can elaborate a flat plate uh, air collectors and a flat plate liquid collectors because uh, they haven't asked about classification. Generally, you can explain. That is a lot more sufficient. Now, you can explain about advantages and disadvantages of concentrating characters over flat plate characters. Okay. Uh, efficiency will be obviously high compared to and a temperature requirement above 120 degrees Celsius. More high temperature can be produced. There are a lot of advantages which I discussed in the previous session. Question number 4A. Uh, write a note on 
uh, solar water heating system that is already discussed. Then solar pond in a power generation. Solar pond is a device which you can store the heat energy, thermal storage device with the different layers, low temperature, medium temperature, high temperature. There is one diagram also in the previous uh, slides I have, in the previous question I have explained, kindly go through that. Uh, explain the principles of solar photovoltaic power generation. Uh, then what are the main parts of solar PV system? You can explain very easily. Okay, I'll show you the particular explanation. You need, you need to name, uh, you have to explain mainly about photovoltaic effect. Uh, how the it's a phenomenon of converting solar radiation into electricity. So we require a solar cell. Uh, then uh, there are two layers. One is P, uh, formation of PN junction. Uh, like you can explain about the semiconductor physics which you already mentioned. Uh, we require an anti-reflecting coating also. So possible draw the diagram, uh, basic diagram. Okay, uh, because they ask you the work you now. So kindly draw the diagram. Uh, then. Uh, if possible, mention the equivalent circuit. Fine. So afterwards, what you can do is the components of uh, solar photovoltaic system. The components means uh, what you are supposed to do is you have to explain about uh, uh, the so, uh, C like this. Uh, we require a solar panel. Solar panel is nothing but uh, the combination of uh, uh, solar cells which are connected in series parallel. That is called a solar panel. Uh, then uh, solar output of solar panel is actually the DC. So we need a battery uh, to store the solar power. From battery, uh, what you can do is uh, we, we need to be in order to control the battery or in order to control the charging process, we require a charge controller. Then charge controller will be connected to output of charge controller is connected to inverter. What is the purpose is to convert the DC power into AC power. So output of inverter will be connected to electrical utility or grid. Okay. So this is a whole component of solar photovoltaic system. This diagram is the most important. Kindly draw the diagram. So you have to explain about the importance of uh, a battery charger. So it uh, uh, perform during daytime. Uh, it stores energy from the panel. Uh, during night, battery will be supplied to the load. Like that, you have to explain in this fashion. Fine. So that is a lot more sufficient for the explanation. So please refer the last question. Uh, what are the major uh, advantages and disadvantages of PV system? That is already discussed. Advantage, you can say like uh, a modularity, uh, like uh, it is applicable to all the places, uh, then uh, cost effective. Uh, then uh, what I can say? Uh, compared to other type of uh, RES, it is having uh, mo mo modular features. Modular features, it can be connected easily and installation will be easy. Okay. Operational maintenance also will be a less, less only and a very less payback period. All the, all the things you can mention. While uh, talking about the opposite side, you have to mention about uh, poor conversion efficiency, poor voltage, poor uh, efficiency, voltage conversion efficiency, very poor efficiency. Uh, similarly, the cost of the material, that is another challenging. Okay, uh, then uh, reliability. Okay, reliability is not uh, so reliable. Those things you can mention. Intermittency. Okay, uh, so these are the setbacks. Okay, so it is having the weightage of only five marks. Accordingly, you can write the minimum of your domain in one page. Fine. Okay, like that you can uh, conclude the answers. So these are the important questions. So if you have any queries, kindly put up in the comment box. I'm happy to answer. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.